welcome to another MTD CNC Technical Corner. Now today we're talking about that, that quite common occurrence you've seen the manufacturer engineer walking around your machine shop sometimes every day checking what the work in progress looks like, which parts are halfway through done, which billets have been sat there, they're, they're ready to be cut but the machine is, is still being used for something else. Um, it's about production planning and making the best use out of the machinery you've got available and the shifts that you've got available. Um, now Rob, how do you make sure your machine shop is planned correctly? So yeah, so if you're a, a manufacturing engineer, you want insight into everything that's happening on the shop floor. Um, and as you said, you alluded to there, the only way traditionally is you get out your chair and you walk around the shop floor and find out what's going on. It's inefficient use of the time. Um, and it's difficult to find out that information. You have to get it anecdotally. Um, so what we obviously would advise using is a, a manufacturing execution system. So this is a way of digitizing the shop floor environment to, to pull all of that data and all of that information of everything that's happening on the shop floor uh, and putting it into uh, a manufacturing execution system which in our case is ProdSmart. Absolutely, you've seen the name coming up a few times on the video behind us. It's called ProdSmart. And as you said, it's one of these MES systems. And today we're focusing on what happens to a manufacturing engineer's role when one of these systems is, is adopted. Um, what would the, I mean, what the manufacturing engineer, what is their major headache day to day? So they are obviously trying to monitor the, the production processes and what's happening on the shop floor. So things like um, understanding where uh, parts in terms of their, their production process, you know, are they work in progress, are they finished, are they only just started? Uh, what's the situation with your uh, machine status? So are my machines running? Is there downtime? Is there problems happening on the shop floor? Um, what ProdSmart allows you to do is to capture that information, capture that data in real time, and see what's happening on the shop floor uh, within a, uh, a cloud-based web interface. And there's a few different ways you can do that. Now, the machine status you've mentioned earlier, and there's an overview video you need to check out if you want to find out more about the general capabilities of ProdSmart. But machine status can be handled with kind of the machine, like a mobile phone on the shop floor is an operator will put in what the machine status is, is happening. Um, but when it comes to actually planning out the production, what can ProdSmart do? So we have a scheduling capability, so you can actually uh, take a job, start a process, uh, or start a, a production process off, um, and you can organize your entire shop floor with, with scheduling. Now the key thing with the scheduling is you have a capacity level uh, which is always listed at, at the bottom there. You see the graphs here and also the numbers here, can't you? 84% yeah. is getting pretty high up the Yeah, capacity. so you can see that this is, this is going to be a point of concern when you're um, you know, sort of starting your production processes off. So you can adjust your scheduling just simply with, with dragging and dropping to move jobs around um, and try and stay within your capacity limits. And it must be so much nicer when you can actually visualize what's happening on the machine shop and what you are plan to do in the future rather than have to keep it all in your head or stick it on a whiteboard where you can't drag and drop, you've got to rub it out and, and, and draw it back in again. Yeah, and that's, that's the great thing about the digital space is you don't have those, those issues with any kind of changes to the process. It's, it's instantaneous. You can make very, very quick changes, quick adjustments, and then see all of that information, as we say, in real time so you know exactly what's going to happen on the shop floor. But it's not just machine time and capacity that is a, a resource that needs to be con uh, controlled. It's also material as well and people availability. Um, how can you handle materials uh, and, and stock levels? So yeah, so we have a whole range of, of capabilities for inventory management, for uh, material requirements planning, that's all contained within ProdSmart available from the, the menus at the side. So we can do things like we can identify inventory that's work in progress, we can have inventory records and information that's, uh, that's, that's captured over time. But we can also have, uh, we have something called material staging. So um, you can put uh, a, an assembly of a component, for example, that requires a bill of materials, and you can uh, put that in material staging. So what that does is it, it won't allow you to schedule a job until that material is available. So you can have that material there just in time, ready for manufacture, and then schedule it accordingly. And it will also allow you to, to automate the, the ordering of material. So when you get to, to low stock levels, you can set the amount that you want to automatically start or start the order process, and then instigate that, that purchase order to bring new material into your facility. It sounds great, but we all know life is not always that perfect. What happens if a machine goes down? 
So yeah, it's not ideal when a when a machine tool goes down for for whatever reason. Um, you know, this could be a mechanical failure, could be could be user error. Whoever knows, uh, you know, what could happen on the shop floor. But ultimately, what we uh, basically display is 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 what the status of those machines are. So uh, once a, uh, a job is started by a user through the mobile app, we automatically indicate that the the machine is running and and is uh, on a particular job. So a particular um, uh, information for that that job will appear on the machine status. Likewise, we'll indicate whether machines are available and then whether machines are down. So through the mobile interface, um, the the shop floor worker can actually input the information to say that machine is down. They can put information as to what the problem was, and that allows the manufacturing engineer to react very very quickly to problems with the machines. Likewise, we can capture this data over time as well. So you might have a machine that is constantly needing maintenance or uh, you, you start to see a cycle of, of it needing uh, you know, regular checks or regular uh, sort of maintenance work. And, and you can either set up a preventative maintenance plan and, and set that up so you can always keep that machine uh, optimized and, and working as you wish, or even prepare for, for future if you think that machine probably needs or that device or whatever it is uh, might potentially need replacing in the future and prepare for that because you can see it long term. Okay, so for the manufacturer engineers who are convinced, how easy is it to implement and how do they, ha how do they have a go? So if you want to have a go, we have a, a free trial experience. So you can basically, um, Go to our, our website, you can access a, a free trial for 14 days. Um, all you literally need is a, is a, a log, you know, login details, log in and you can start running. If, uh, if you want more help, we have an implementation team that can help that process and we have a support team that are there to, to help you along the way as well. So we actively encourage you to at least try the free trial uh, and if you want to take that further, obviously speak to our representatives and, and, and take that stage further. Thank you.